generally I know what Europeans think about Americans and it's they don't think too highly of Americans unfortunately still with that being said we were in a vehicular train the other day where we we're going um, on a little adventure so we we're riding in the train there was a group of Americans they were very lovely very sweet however there was also then a, a sort of like a group of local Swiss people um, from a different part of probably not that like local Swiss part but from a different part of like the German speaking part of Switzerland getting into the train I could tell because I understood what they were saying what they were talking about it was sort of like as part of like a bachelor thing and so it was funny because um, even though they were talking very, very fast, um, I could totally understand that the Americans, they couldn't speak any German at all. And we were even helping them like sort of get their tickets before. So we kind of had already like a conversation going. But anyways, I could tell and it was really hard to focus as well how the local Swiss people were kind of a little bit making fun of the Americans, like pretty much that they cannot not talk to they cannot speak any German at all, they can't speak the local language any at all, and they're just like, ah, oh, they're so um kind of like loud and whatever. So it's interesting because I it's so funny to me because even though I grew up and I was born and grew up in Vienna, Austria, those some stereotypes of Americans haven't changed. And it's interesting because after living having lived also in America for over six, sixteen years and obviously my husband is American it's a little bit sad to me as well because there is some of the kindest people that I've met. They're also Americans. I feel like oftentimes um, Europeans, they like to go to America as well, for instance. They, you know, like to go to New York. They like to go to LA, maybe Chicago and so on, Hollywood, blah, blah, blah. I'm just naming the major cities, but that's usually the case, right? Or they're doing like some sort of um, road trip to see the, the Yellowstone National Park or whatever. But then that's it, right? So... Uh, I'm not sure where I'm going with this. Yeah, I don't know. Sometimes I wonder if it's a blessing or a curse, if you can speak the local language, because obviously the Swiss group, they were not aware that some of us were not really Americans and we could understand German and my husband can understand German and speaks German as well. So I feel like it was just a little bit sad, but I feel like maybe that happens wherever you go, wherever you travel. I mean, let me know if you ever ran into a situation where you knew actually the language and the locals weren't aware of that and you kind of like caught them red-handed talking about you. 